What's up, guys? Welcome back to another morning milk. Um, told you yesterday. I'm gonna talk a little bit about cheese today, and um, I'm going to. I'm going to. But I uh, got some thoughts in between. I was reading a cheese book last night that we have. Um, Natural Art of Making Cheese, I think it's called. Um, it's up my alley. It's it's kind of like more of a more of a natural kinds of ways without all the, the cultures and stuff and using uh, I don't know, uh, kefir and or kefir I guess and all sorts of anyway it, it's a good book I'll get I'll talk to you guys about that someday but uh, I was reading that and I was, I was looking online and um, looking at you know certain cheeses like feta I know is one of them and um, Parmesan. I can't make Parmesan. Parmesan right at Reggiano. Just based on how much how much milk you actually need to do it. Um, you need a crap ton of milk. Um, and I don't have that. Most most people don't. Um, but I was reading and this is something that happened way back. When I, when I first realized that there is IP intellectual property rights in food and I don't know if they call it IP exactly um, a few years ago four or five years ago probably I was growing some onions and I, I got you know little starts down at the nursery and I forget what exact variety they were but they're a sweet onion and they are the same onion as the Vidalia onion Problem is, well, not a problem really, but the thing is, I live about 16 miles out of the designated geographic square where you can grow Vidalia onions. Now, I can plant them and sell them, or, but I can't call them Vidalia onions. They're the same thing, but I can't call them Vidalia onions because I don't live in a certain geographic region. Now sometimes, I get it, there's reasons for that, right? Um, you don't want somebody to get Vidalia onions that are super spicy. Um, but I, my, my soil profiles are almost the same. Um, when I grew them and ate them, you couldn't tell the difference. Side by side, you could not tell the difference. Um, but because somewhere, someone has filed like some sort of IP claim or some sort of, you know, you can't call it this unless it's grown in this region um it's no good you can't do that and i hate i think that's absolutely absurd um if i sell spicy onions called a vidalia onion how many times are you going to come back and buy an onion from me zero right um you know it, it's no different than if i called something coffee and i sold you tea you wouldn't come back and buy coffee from me again would you um it's no different so as I was reading about different cheeses, feta, um, Parmesan Reggiano, those are the two that, that I recall right now, they're under a lot of the same um, guidelines. And all those guidelines are set up by like the EU. And unless this cheese is made during a certain time of year, unless the milk comes from certain, you know, cows or, or goats, that, that um, graze in a certain area, you can't call it this cheese. Um, which is really, you know, it, it, I don't understand. Because you can still make it. It still tastes the same. You just have to call it a different name. I, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, you know, it's the same thing as, as IP and in medicine, right? Um, you let one person do it and it uh, just drives the cost up. There's, there's no competition, right? Now you can you can do the different foods, right? You can still make feta, you just have to call it something different. You can still make par Parmesan Reggiano out of this area in Italy, but you gotta call it something different. And I think for the most part, when you see Parmesans, um, they are not made in Italy. Uh, the book I was reading, I think um, Feta 
feta has to be made in, in Greece, and um, the feta that's not made in Greece is, you can't call it that, um, I think it's Bulgaria maybe, someplace around there, they call it, call it white cheese, because that's, you know, descriptive. Um, you got to wonder if we have a, a IP or whatever on, on American cheese. Can, can, can the Brits make American cheese? Uh, I don't know why anyone would want to, right? Um, doesn't, doesn't seem like that would be one that, that you'd want to, uh, to pack and to, to tell the rest of the world they can't make. You can't make American cheese! No, you can't ruin good milk with baking soda and salt and a whole bunch of other preservatives. No, you can't glue your system together with this cheese product. Um, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, man, I just, I, it really, it rubs me the wrong way um, when, when there's this protectionism involved, especially around food and food names. Like, it's just, it's just really stupid. It's just, nobody cares, you know? If, if you buy a product that tastes like garbage or that doesn't taste like, you know, the feta that you know is made in, in Greece, um, you're not going to buy it again. You know, and so you're out, what, four bucks for a, a little package of feta that tasted like crap? Okay. Move along. If, if you're buying feta, you probably have enough money to, to you can waste $4 on a bad package of feta, right? Um, about, right? I mean, you, um, I don't know. It's just that it stuff throws me the wrong way all the time. But. How much food you got left, sweet girl? You hear the goats. Goats are super squeaky this morning. And that is because, well, partly because I separated some of them last night. Uh, pulled out two of our little bucklings and set them aside. They're getting too big. I don't want them running with the mamas and the sisters because we're going to have more babies that I don't know, maybe, possibly, and you really don't want little 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 baby goats getting knocked up this young because it's just not good for the system. But, um, I separated them last night. They're hollering and bellering all night long, and it um, hopefully they'll calm down today. I'm gonna put them with the horses and the other bucks, but I, I want to be awake and around when I do that in case uh, in case the horses decide to be jerks to them. If horses get along with our other two two bucks. Great, they um, they're like friends. It's um, many times I've gone out there and think that that one of the goats got kicked to death because he's laying you know behind the horse. Um, and they're just sunning themselves, you know. And one one goat pulls the uh, the mask off the horse, you know, put a, a sun mask, fly mask on him, and uh, he'll he doesn't like it, and he'll take it over the the goat, and the goat will bite the velcro and pull it off. So anyway, um, we'll be here for the weekend. So you guys enjoy your weekend and get out there and uh, grow you something. <laughs>